Hi! We were just working on a particle system for electric sparks. Sparks are supposed to move in a zigzag motion, because we associate them with the form of a lightning. It seems like this would be difficult to do with the Godot particle systems, but there is an easy trick. You can simply convert a particle material to a particle shader and adapt a shader to make the particles follow a curve. For that, we add a sampler to the uniform. This samples a texture we give the particle shader. In this case, we will give it a curve texture. The movement we will sample from the curve should be applied perpendicular to the movement direction of the particles. To calculate this normal direction, we just take the velocity, normalize it, flip its x and y coordinate, and invert the direction of the y coordinate. Let's add a simple curve texture for now. We sample the curve based on the relative lifetime of the particle, which is stored in custom.y. We then use the delta built-in to sample a little bit back in time to get a difference made since the last calculation. In other words, we calculate the slope. The result is the amount of movement that needs to be done and we can simply apply it to the current position. The y-scale uniform decides the overall size of the effect. After that, what is left to do is to tweak the curve. We can add points to it as we please and you can do a lot of different effects. You can manipulate the form of the curve with these little handles or remove them for linear motion. This is nice for our zigzag motion. And here we have it. Of course, you can make different effects with that too, like this nice little wave. You can do different cool effects using another curve that is not rotated, like a stuttering or a projectile flying in circles. But for now, we will leave this as an exercise to you. We hope you liked this short trick. If you are not familiar with particle shaders, you should check out our Getting Started video, where we explain all the build-ins. We also made other tutorials and some devlogs. Thanks for watching.